that's awkward. it's Kinsey. So today is part one of my college series for the week. It's a three-parter. So today's Tuesday. So I have one tomorrow, Thursday. And of course, if there's more videos or things about college that are wanting to be known or talked about, just let me know. I'm only a sophomore, but you learn a lot in college and you learn very fast. So hit me with your best questions. So I have everything for you on my handy dandy iPad. As you can see my screen light and me, that's awkward. I don't even know if I said what today's college video is about, but I mean, I'm guessing by the title. Today's video is about what to expect in college. There are a lot of expectations, stereotypes and ideas. It's just a wondering, like you just, it's a gray, it's a gray area. Hmm. The way I would describe it, Kinsey's language would be just the air bubble. Like, like, I don't know. I'm just going. If you come up with too many expectations and then you go to college and they're not what you expected, you'll be too disappointed. However, there are some things that you should expect in college that are very general, very general, very, very much that, that every college student should know. Anyways, let's get into it with number one nobody is better than anybody some people may be better off but no one is really better than anybody don't get me wrong some people are better than some people but not in the way that you think we are all struggling okay college is tough it's not high school okay and that's coming from someone who got all A's in high school was top 30 in their class so college is not a walk in the park whatsoever so in saying that, everybody's struggling with their like their classwork, you know, business majors, even though, you know, it's all fun and games that business majors are the easiest majors. I'm a STEM major, but even though they are business majors, I have business major friends and they struggle with their work and they're very smart or they'll just have a hard time. No one is just cherry pickings all the time. 24 7 do not think oh she's passing exams oh she got on the dean's list and i didn't she's better than me some people do have easier classes the way that their degree map is they're not taking as hard of classes as you taking a whole bunch of gen ed classes and this person's taking a whole bunch of calculus and science classes if that person gets on the dean's list and the person taking the science classes doesn't they're taking a whole bunch of gen ed classes even with that people can still struggle like the workload can just become a lot everybody has their own thing going on you just need to focus on yourself okay what sarah's doing is very much irrelevant to what i'm doing if sarah's getting on the dean's list and we're the same major taking the same classes good for her you don't know what people are going through you know everyone's struggling like i struggled i struggled with my science classes i'm not even gonna lie to you but she could have got an A in all of her science classes and she didn't do anything but study. She didn't live a college life at all. You know what I'm saying? It was just books, 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 which is cool and all, but she didn't experience nothing while she was in college. Meanwhile, I, I took my studies seriously, but I still lived my life with my friends, you know? Everyone's trying to find a balance. Everyone's trying to figure things out. You just, you just gotta be cool. You just gotta work on yourself and vibes, man. The next thing is the heavy workload, okay? As I've said before, college is not a joke and is not a walk in the park. If you don't want to take your studies seriously, don't go to college, okay? Don't waste your money. College is not a place to play with your schoolwork. You need to get your work done. You're not about to get 50 chances to turn stuff in. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people and some professors, you can, you can do that. You can't. But overall, professors are not like that. You will end up on the fail list and you will be on the, um, have a, it's not a suspension, but it's like, uh, like on a list that like you need to get your grades together or you'll get kicked out type of list. You know what I'm saying? First of all, let's not waste money. 
Second of all, let's do what we came to do. You know, of course, we are going to live life. We are going to experience new things and we're going to have a great time. But you are here to get a degree. The end goal at the end of the day is to go get that degree. College is a lot of work and it just it keeps going. It never stops. It keeps going. And sometimes don't get me wrong. You can hold off work. Like there's plenty of times where I've held off studying for other classes. Like, no, this class is my priority right now. This class can wait. I'll just I'm just going to have to wing it with that class. But this class is most important. Study time is crucial. You may have to wing some exams. I've done it. Me and my relationship with exams have been... <sighs> I spend a majority of my week studying. Basically from Friday to Thursday night, I spend studying every day. Don't get me wrong. It could be 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, and I go out and do something, even though I have an 8 o'clock class in the morning. That's cool. I spent all day studying, you know what I'm saying? A majority of my day has gone to my studies to make sure I have my work done. So when Friday, Saturday comes, I can literally do whatever I want and I don't have to touch my laptop at all. Organization is also very important because like I said, it's a lot and you can get trapped in your work. So you wanna have things organized so you don't fall behind. My third thing that you should expect in college is that you have to step outside your comfort zone. College is not a place for you to stay in your shell. Don't get me wrong, when you find your people, you can stay in your shell. But if you're in college in a different city and you don't know anybody, you can't be in your shell and expect to be doing all this stuff. You have to get uncomfortable. Now if it leads to death or it leads to something dangerous happening, no, not promoting that. But other than that, for the basic things, you gotta get beside yourself. My fourth thing to expect in college is that everyone wants to make new friends and everyone wants to have a group i want to have a group okay i want to have my own little group we go do every little thing we study we eat we do every little thing together and it's just chill okay no one wants to be completely alone don't get me wrong people want to be alone i like being alone but i don't want to be completely alone you know what i'm saying i like meeting new people i like doing new things don't be afraid to slide in people's dms I'm not gonna lie to you I never slid in someone's DMs to be friends. I'm talking about being friends, by the way. But I never slid in people's DMs to be friends with them. At the time, I was still getting over being outgoing in the social setting, you know? But all the people that I met going into college and all the people that I met while I was in college was pretty much off of social media. It was a DM, hey, you wanna hang out? Hey, girl, we have the same major, we should do this sometime. Do you want to come hang out with me and my friends? I like meeting people online because then you get to know them and then when you meet them, it's not awkward. But that's just for me. Some people just automatically off the jump want to be in person. I, I like to get the vibes and the feels of your personality before I actually meet you. So then when I meet you, it's just like, hmm. <laughs> my fifth what to expect in college is about boys. Okay. For the seniors that want to mess with little old freshman you, think about it. Just think about it, okay? Don't get me wrong. When you're in college, you're in college. Like, but if the 23-year-old senior wants to mess with the newly incoming 18-year-old, 17-year-old, I was 17, but 18-year-old, 17-year-old freshman, I just want you to think about that because I, I just think it's interesting they're not here for a real relationship okay they're hollering at you they're not trying to be your husband no babe you're you're new you don't know nothing you don't know who i am so you know what i mean and following that statement all boys really just want the same thing majority of them majority of them they just want the same thing okay like it's very it's very hard to find someone who's genuine and a lot of these boys are not ready for no relationship maybe at the end of freshman year but beginning of freshman year during freshman year they're dumb they're dumb okay i'm gonna just say that not all boys not all boys okay they're not all dumb but a majority of them are stupid just idiotic they don't know what the heck they want babe if you've been talking to this man for two or three plus months, he doesn't want to be in a relationship with you, okay? They may say they're relationship ready or just not right now. They're just, they're just not ready at all. They don't want a relationship. 
honestly, they're not relationship worthy anyways. But a lot of boys are like that. I've seen it, I've experienced it, I know it. And with this information, I would say to take things very lightly, okay? Don't try to be too serious in freshman year. If things happen, they happen. But don't go looking for nothing and don't expect nothing from none of them okay my second to last what to expect in college is to find a routine like i said i'm a type a person but i've seen a lot of people have a routine for something whether it's to get up and meditate whether it's just to get up wash your face brush your teeth and get back in bed and get on your phone or it's wake up put your clothes on go get some food and come back you're going to have to come up with a routine to keep yourself together those routines end up being critical and keeping yourself together during hard times. If you're stressed out if you have something that you can always stick to that gives you some type of Wusa moment like just still waters moment you're going to appreciate that you're going to love it and you're going to need it every day can be different but you're going to need to find a routine in certain things that just bring you back to to the still waters for example you could have a different day in the morning depending on how your classes you have a different routine for different days but depending on which days it was was for example tuesdays thursdays and Fridays, I think, I would wake up, get on whatever little Zoom I had to get on. After that, I would go to the gym. I would come back. I would take a shower. I would get ready for the day. And I would eat something. Eat something while I was in class or whatever. And then I would pay attention the rest of class. I would write out what I have to do. And that was something that always just kept me, you know. And my last what to expect in college is that you're going to have to learn how to be self-sufficient. Everyone's focused on themselves. Do not think that Sally is focused on getting your things done or making sure you have your things done. If you can't get things done yourself or do things on your own, you're going to have a hard time. So in order to be successful, you have to be self-sufficient. College is a great time to learn yourself and to figure out what you need to get done without needing anybody else. Like, I can do this myself. I can make myself happy. If you can't do anything like that on your own, I don't know what to tell you. That is not a good trait to have. You need to be able to do things yourself. And if you can't be successful without somebody else, then you need to reevaluate yourself and yada, yada, yada. That concludes the first video of our three-part college series. And I hope this was helpful. I really do hope it was helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the second video. Bye.